Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Has it been said uh, for question 11, you're supposed to use a graph paper, a pencil, and a, a ruler. These are some of the things you need to have. So, for this question, uh, question 1, we have been asked to find the value of R. So, the value of R, you can write it somewhere here. So, you say this is 1, R is equal to uh, 8. So, how did I find 8? How did I find 8? So, you can check. Let me try to do a little bit of some works. On the table, uh, under x axis, there is negative 1. And under y axis, there is r. And r is what we are looking for. So, here is r. Then you copy here. We are able to see x, you put negative 1 plus negative 1 squared plus negative 1 cubed. So you can punch all these values on your calculator. And when you punch, you find that the value of r will be equal to 8. So you write your 8 here. This is where you put your 8. So the next thing will now be to graph, which is question 2. So to graph, you need to understand the scale. So you follow the scale which you've been given. And the scale here is negative, uh, x-axis is from negative uh, uh, 3 to, ne to 3. So meaning negative 3 is less or e equal to x, less or equal to 3. So you can check here. So they're saying negative 3. So you can put line like this. So this is x-axis and our y-axis will be here. So this is our y-axis. So since we have this, we can now try to put the numbers down. There is a statement in the question which says taking two centimeters we know that this box from here to here is two centimeters two centimeters if you want you can measure using your ruler it's two centimeters and then they're saying uh, taking two centimeters to represent one unit on the x-axis for negative three is less or equal to x less or equal to three so meaning from here, you'll be moving one unit. So, one unit, one. So, this is zero. If this is zero, this is this will be one, two, and three over here. And then to the y-axis, I mean to the negative, sorry, x-axis, negative side, it will be negative one, negative two here, and negative three here. So, we're done with the... the the x-axis so we can now go to the y-axis for the y-axis they have said and two centimeters to represent 10 units on the y-axis for a zero is less or equal to y less or equal to 30 draw the graph of y is equal to 3 minus 5x plus x squared plus 3 squared uh, cubed so the scale is showing us that we are supposed to start from 0 and we're supposed to be moving 10. So in 10, so 0, here is 10, 20, up to 30, which is here. Hopefully you're able to follow. So since we have done our Cartesian plane here, we can start the graphing. So for the graphing, the first point is negative 3, comma 0. So negative 3 comma 0 is, is here. The next point is negative 2 comma 9. So if you can see this is 10. So each line is 1. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So up in the in the y-axis, each small line here is 10. I mean is 1. And then in uh, the x-axis, each small line is 0 0.1. How did I know? You know, there are 10 lines here. 
So if you want to know what each line means or representing, you get the number, the first number you're able to see, which is a, a 1 here. You see 1 divided by 10. So that answer means each line here is what it means, whatever answer you get. Under y-axis, you get the number you're able to see here, the first 9, divided by 10. So you find that each line is being represented by 1. So the this is 0, uh, 0, uh, negative 3, 0. And then next we go to negative 2, 9. 9 is here. Negative 2, 9 is here. Next we go to negative 1 is here, 8. The 8 we found is here. Next we go to 0, 3. So 0, 3 is here. 0, 1, 2, 3 is here. Next we go to 1, 0. It's here. Next we go to 2,5. So 2,5. This is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's here. 2,5. Next we go to uh, 3,24. So this is 25 here. This is 20 and 25 is here. So 24 must be here. So when you are done with the points, make sure all the points are visible. You can now start joining them. How do we join? Just move here to there. Next, it's here to this one. Next is uh, here to this one. Next is uh, here to this one. Next will be here to this one. Next here will be here. We move up to here. We are done. So now since we are done, we can even now indicate, we can say this is Z. Y is equal to 3 minus 5x plus x squared plus x cubed here you put your equation so this is how it looks we go to the next question the next question uh, which is uh, question 11 3 use your graph to calculate an estimate of the a gradient of the curve at the point where x is equal to 2 so you check where is x is equal to 2. It's here. x is equal to 2 here. And then the, the y-axis is uh, 5. Where x is equal to 2, the y-axis is 5. So what you normally do here is you can make your, make your tangent line here. And that tangent line should just be touching the point just the line at this point, it shouldn't move along the, the line, but it's just touch, if you're able to see touching up here where the point is. So once you do that, you can pick any point. So I'll pick this and this same one. So what I can do here so that I don't, I don't uh, mess up, I can put the coordinates which are here. This is where is 2,5. And here I know this is 3, 3, 15. I guess so. So these are the two coordinates, 3, 15 here. So now for me to find gradient, I will indicate my, my solution here. This is uh, 3a. So I'll use the formula for finding gradient. So this is the formula in case you don't know. And then here, this, I'll make it be x sub 1 and this y sub 1. This other one will be x sub 2, y sub 2. So now I can pick what is my x, my y sub 2, it's here, it's 15. Minus my y sub 1 is 5 over my x sub 2. 
is 3 minus 2. And then when I solve, I have 10 here over here I have 1. So my gradient will be equal to 10. So gradient is equal to 10. If you want, you can write gradient is equal to 10. So the next thing will be question 3b. So on question 3b, they have said the area bounded by the cave x is equal to negative 3 and x is equal to negative 2. So what you do, you go to where the cave is. So x is equal to negative 3 is here, here, and x is equal to negative 2 is here. So you can make a line here. You can draw your line, which is x is equal to negative 2. And then x is equal to negative 3 is here. So you can shade this part. You can shade nicely. You can use the ruler. You shade nicely. So they want to, us to find the area bounded by this region. So if you can see nicely, if you're able to see what shape is being formed here. Or I'll say there are so many ways you can use to, to find the area here. But in uh, the simplest way would be to just check what shape is being formed here. Of course, this is a triangle. It can be a triangle. So you can use the formula for finding area of a triangle. Okay. And then on B, you say the base here. What is the length from here to here? This is 1. From here to here, the difference is 1. From here to here, it's 9. That's, so you know that it will be times 1 times uh, 9. And then here you solve, you have 9 over 2, which is equal to 4.5 centimeter, uh, sorry, square, square units. We can't put centimeters because we are not being given the, 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 the actual units to use so we can just say square units then we go to the next question the next question which is b i'll just put it this is uh 11 11 b they've said find the uh, coordinates of the stationary points on the cave y is equal to 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 12x plus 4. So this is calculus. Now we need to apply the idea of calculus. So we need to find what we call dy dx. We differentiate with respect to x. Meaning we start checking wherever there is x here. We check the power which is on top and then we multiply that power by the number which is in front and then we come and subtract one from that power so in this case we we'll say three times two which is equal to uh six x we'll write x and then the new power will be two how have i come up with this two i've just said three minus one even here, the same thing, we have 6, this power 2 multiplied by negative 3, it's negative 6, x, and then power 2 minus 1 will remain with 1 here, power 1, we'll leave it the way it is. Here, it's more like there is power 1, so we we'll say power 1 multiplied by 12, it's negative 12, it's negative 12. So here we can't put, because there was power 1, for power 1, the x would disappear, and for the number without any letter or variable without x will remain like this it will just be zero don't put it so we're done here so we can say dy dx is equal to zero so meaning we get this stuff we equate it to zero so 6x squared minus 6x minus 12 is equal to zero so you can solve the quadratic, if you can see this is a quadratic equation, you solve. So the solutions of this quadratic equation are the answers we need. So now it will be, it can be, be reduced to this. 
I've just divided throughout by 6 by 6 because 6 can go here, he can enter here and here. So we remain with this equation. Whereby, when we solve this equation, we remain with the solutions to be x will be equal to 2 or x will be equal to negative 1. So now, we now we are done with solving the equation. So we need to find the coordinates of the the, the stationary point. We have already found the x coordinates. So we need to find the y coordinates. How do we find the y coordinates? So to find the coordinates, we we or to find the y coordinates, we can say y is equal to we copy this equation. You get any value. Let's say we we'll get two. We we'll start with two. We want to find the uh, the y y coordinate. So we'll say two. Where there is x, we we'll start putting two. This two, which is here. And when we punch these on the calculator, we solve. We find that the value of y will be equal to negative sixteen. So meaning we have answered one. So one of the coordinates will be two comma negative sixteen. We go to the other one. The same thing. Now this time around we start putting the negative one. So we say y is equal to two open negative cube uh, one cubed minus three negative multiplied by negative one squared minus 12 multiplied by negative one plus four and when we solve we'll remain with 11 our y will be 11 when we solve so the coordinates will be negative one comma 11 so these are the uh, stationary points you can even put coordinates over the stationary points thank you very much please subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, if you don't mind you can join the js learning academy whatsapp and uh, for you to join the js learning academy online tuitions you can just send your whatsapp message to uh, zero nine six nine seventeen fifty seven zero one. Thank you.